Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video. My name is Leaf and thank you guys so much once again for stopping by for another episode of Leaf's Animal Farm. Now, I wasn't in the mood to record a whole episode sitting down with you guys. I'm sorry, even the little Leafy gets tired. So I decided to do a little bit of a semi speed build. I just kind of like sped up the footage, just, just a twinge over here, just not really too much. So, unfortunately, the whole speed build didn't get, like, recorded, otherwise there, this video would be, like, ten times longer. <laughs> but, um, no, I just wanted to circle back to our little, um, yeah, circle back to our little tropical dome and just start flushing it out. So I pretty much covered about half of it, and you can see in here I'm just starting to put in some, like, you know, planter boxes, doing a little bit of decoration, making it look nice and pretty and putting in like a lot of tropical plants and whatnot, just making sure that it's all nice. I really do how, I really do like how like elevated this is. It looks nice in the end and you know, it just has like a nice tropical house vibe. I don't know why also, but I've been getting some kind of bad frames in Leaf's Animal Farm. It's not really doing too good, unfortunately guys, but I, I managed to muster it through. I think we will need to end the series soon. I know it pains. Sorry, I'm just so like sitting up in my chair. I know it pains like a lot of you to hear that, but I think we might need to move on to greener pastures. And plus the snow is absolutely annoying. <laughs> I'm getting so sick of the snow and like all this. I think we might even do like a desert build. I feel like no one builds in the desert biome and I have no idea why it's so cool. It's really cool to work with. I might even like play with like all the terrain paints and stuff i feel like that might actually be really fun but yeah i hope you guys like how this is coming together soon i will have a, like a quick little fly through at the end just showing you guys what i did because unfortunately a lot of it kind of did get get like cut out but i'm just dressing it up with some nice south american foliage i think i might move the monkeys in here like i'm just thinking about it right now it might be really cool to have them like be able to just frolic all around and just you know experience their own thing but yeah that'll be a little story for the future it's not really something in the cards right now because i will need to go back and edit some more because next week i am going away guys i'm going to the mythical land of florida now i know i know leaf is going to florida and he's gonna leave us all alone but rest assured i will have a lot of content like pre-built and scheduled for you that's why i'm doing like a lot of it like beforehand i just did like three different videos today just so i could like still stay on track with the daily uploads for this week i may need to do like every other day for next week just because i probably won't have that much stuff to like you know keep you guys entertained i'm gonna try and hammer some good stuff out though so you guys better keep an eye out for that all right no no rough housing while i'm gone but yeah anyways so we're just doing a little bit of work inside of the Amazon River Dolphin. Actually, I can't even say that anymore. It's the Takuchi. I think that's how you say it. Takuchi? Takuhi? I don't know. It'll probably work like that. So, um, yeah, I'm just going through the list and seeing what else I can get. I saw this really cool ocelot, and I forget who the ocelot is by. We'll definitely address that when we actually make their habitat. But I also end up getting, like, a giant ant eater. I got some of the flamingos. I just wanted to start fleshing this building out and i didn't want to leave you guys hanging with like you know not adding any new animals and you know we all know how that goes it usually turns out extremely horribly but you know it's fine like we we always lay on our feet here at leaf's animal farm and here i am just dressing up the little amazonian centipede exhibit a little bit more just making sure it looks nice in here i do use some of like the green bamboo i think it looks really cool in the end just mixing that bamboo with the New World style, it, it like looks really good, actually. <laughs> but besides that, we are currently working on a little bit of tapir habitat. And yeah, I forgot to hit record like <laughs> halfway through this. So we do unfortunately miss, I think, the entire flamingo habitat, which, you know, it's kind of sucks. But and like the later half of me working like all the bugs out in the tapir habitat but you know it's fine guys because in the end leaf's animal farm has a few new residents and they absolutely love their habitats in the end i do give both of the new guys some outdoor space i i think i should do that probably for like all the animals that come in here but yeah it's just that little patch of land right to the right 
And yeah, they, they like it. They vibe. They're happy. They're going to start making babies and whatnot, hopefully. And we could sell them. And we will get more guests in here coming up soon. I have no idea why I hit play and they're just not looking at the dolphins. I have no idea why. I should probably go back and edit like all their... Yeah, just like edit all their requirements and stuff and their rating. But, you know, it's just all experimental in here. This is like my little testing grounds for all my mods and just making sure like, would I want this to happen for other people? But yeah, that's pretty much it. So here you see me start to put in all the other animals. I do put the anteater in here originally, but I do end up taking him out just because there wasn't enough room. And you can see like how little room I actually have to deal with in there. It's not, it's not that good. But eventually down the line, I do expand outside. And here I am just like, you know, just working on a little bit of their needs. First and foremost is going to be the terrain. Just making sure it's nice and perfect for our little guys. Because, you know, the happier they are, the happier the guests are, and the happier you are when you visit Leaf's Animal Farm. So I end up sending that guy back to the Trade Center. There he goes. And yeah, just adding a bunch of stuff for him. And this is why I really do love, like, in the end about, like, challenge mode and stuff like that. It really does work out so much better when, um... When you have all this stuff researched at first, and then, yeah. Anyways, here we are going into, like, all the other stuff. I try to have, like, some cinematics in here, but you could see, like, the Amazon River Dolphin being brought to, um, this little enclosure. You could see all the stuff I added in here. It's nothing crazy. The flamingos have a little bit of, like, a little bit of area to roam around in there. They have, like, all the water they need. And, yeah, they're just vibing. I think it's a James's flamingo, and, like, they're beautiful. I really do love them. But, um, yeah, what else? These tapirs are just vibing. I really do love how, like, all the foliage is coming together in here. Even the bromeliads, like, right on the railing. That is really cool to see. And you can see, like, all the dolphins in there. And I'm talking so much longer than the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and have a great one.